I need some sort of intro, so I'm inserting it now. <laughs> That's what he said. Hey guys, Soul Eater Evans here, and today we have a very special Cooking with Soul episode because it is Valentine's Day themed. Maka's out of town for Valentine's Day, unfortunately. So, um, <laughs> these are my plans. Maka's away and having fun with her dad for some reason. Going on a Valentine's Day trip with her dad is a little weird, but spirit's a little weird, so. Whatever. So let's get started making these sweetheart cookies. These are sugar cookies in the shape of hearts. <laughs> it's really not that hard to understand. I don't really know why I felt like I needed to explain it. So we are going to use these gluten-free sugar cookies uh, that Maka happened to have in the fridge. <laughs> you know Maka always trying to like force her gluten-free lifestyle on everyone else in the household. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> oh. This is annoying, right? <laughs> why, why does she care so much about the health of others? <laughs> what a bitch! <laughs> oh god, Maka, I miss you! <laughs> anyway, um... <clears throat> so we're gonna start with the pre-greased pan. You can grease it with whatever you want to. I happen to grease mine with, um... <laughs> my own tears. Uh, because it's what I had an abundance of. Give me one second. Anyway, I'm a cool guy, everything's fine. I am not crying over my girlfriend being away. <laughs> Gonna need some cookie cutters in the shape of hearts, obviously. Got some red sprinkles because, you know, roses are red, violets are blue. Maka, please come home, I miss you! <laughs> Get yourself together, soul. Come on, you can do this. You are a strong, independent weapon, and you don't need no meister. Got some decorating things, red and black. I don't really know why I got black, just to like outline things, I guess, whatever. And you're gonna need some rose petals for pizzazz. So first we're gonna start off by actually baking the cookies. Now, luckily these came pre-made, which are my favorite kind of cookies to bake. <laughs> but um, even these can, I mean, you could mess these up. We're not going to, because we're amazing at cooking, obviously. Um, so I'm gonna get some parchment paper, I guess. Wax paper, I think, is the correct thing to use. Don't quote me on that, but it's what I have, so I'm gonna use it. All right, so this is my baking station. A lot more uh, fancy than the last time you saw me. Oh shit, wait. Before we do anything, we have to preheat that oven. You know I always f***ing forget that part. So we're gonna preheat the oven to 300, hold on, and 25 degrees. So I have a toaster oven back here. Um, I've never actually used this before, so I hope that I can figure it out. I think I can, I don't know. We're gonna see what happens. So there's no actual preheat setting on the toaster oven, so I'm just gonna kinda let it heat up until I'm ready, I guess. I can't even tell if it's on. Oh, you know what? <laughs> the toaster oven isn't even plugged in, oh my god. Now that the toaster oven is plugged in, <laughs> it's time to get started with the cookies. And, uh, I, um, lost the cookie cutters. <laughs> oh, it's right here, okay. Uh, no! I mean, no. <laughs> Let's take out all of our aggression of how lonely and empty we feel this Valentine's Day by smashing these cookies down to make them flatter <clears throat> so we can cut little hearts out of them. So cute. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, I can't get it up. Hold on. <laughs> I can't get it up. <laughs> I can definitely get it up. I mean, I just can't pick the cookie up is what I meant to say. That's not why Maka left me. Um. Oh my god, our first little heart cookie. This is the cutest shit I've ever seen in my life. Let's get our tray that we have pre-greased with our tears and just pop that down on there. Wow. One down, like so many more to go. Oh my God. I am in so much pain. Look how big that heart is. My love for you, all of my subscribers who for some reason keep coming back <laughs> to this channel. I don't know why. I don't know what I've done to deserve you, but thank you. I think we should add a little bit of pizzazz to this one. And by pizzazz, I don't mean the fake rose petals. <laughs> for pizzazz. Let's just add some of the sprinkles, which I should have pre-opened, but I didn't do that, so. If you had the time or the patience, you could even write out little little words in these tiny little beads in the cookie. That would be cute, but such a waste of time. <laughs> you know what? Aren't these like dairy free? Like I could eat the cookie dough, like literally just eat it. I don't know how good it would be, but I kind of might do that. Oh my God, the heart is literally breaking right down the center. <laughs> That's not okay. 
I don't need that today. You know, if you don't have your other half, they're out there and they're waiting for you. And you know what? Maybe it's not the right time for you to meet them. You know, we, we are different people throughout our entire lives. And um, sometimes you just need to find yourself before you find your other half. You know, if, if you can't find who you are, this half of you, how, are, how can you expect to find your other half? Just words of wisdom from your local soul eater. So for this next one, let's get a little creative. I put one of the bigger hearts down and now I'm gonna take one of the smaller hearts and cut that out inside of the bigger heart. Can you see that? Bro, bro, don't even at me. That is so cute. Dude, I am killing this. Like, I don't mean to like brag or anything, but I'm usually pretty bad at this stuff. So you know, I'm not even thinking about maca. This is so much fun just to like, do on your own. <laughs> you don't need anyone. You know, I am totally fine on my own. I don't even miss Maka at all. <laughs> no, that's a lie. I miss Maka a lot. Oh no. Now I'm thinking about her. Maka! What the fuck is that noise? Do you hear that? Oh. <laughs> There's a guy on top of his RV out there. <laughs> You can literally see everything I'm doing. <laughs> oh, I'm mortified. I can't even explain this. Oh, look at our beautiful cookies. They're so amazing. Wow. And we're just going to pop that into the very hot oven. So be careful. Um, I just realized I don't have anything to take it out of the oven with. Uh, I'll get a towel. Oh my god. Okay, so... <laughs> Everything's fine, don't worry about it. So, um, as usual, I am an idiot and I forgot to pay attention to the time, so I actually don't know how long it's been, but the cookies are definitely brown, so we gotta take them out of the oven, bro. Okay, I'm just gonna use this towel that was here because what the hell else am I supposed to do? I would say perfectly browned. I would also say they're kind of ugly. <laughs> look at that, that doesn't even look like a heart. Oh my God, what is that, like a mouth? So as usual, I have caused my own downfall. <laughs> I am my own disaster, constantly. All right, so after what feels like hours of searching for a spatula, I finally found a pie crust thingy. I don't know what this is. It's close enough, okay? It's close enough to a spatula. Look, it's flat and it picks things up. So <laughs> it's a spatula if I ever did see one. So Valentine's Day cookies need to go on some Valentine's Day themed plates. Of course, what else would you put them on? Like. <laughs> Are you a monster? Come on. I'm gonna make a couple more cookies, but like you've been sitting here and watching me do this long enough. Let's cut to when all the cookies are done and ready to be decorated. All right, so our cookies have finished baking in the oven and they have they've come out a little rough. I don't know why I was expecting anything better than this. I really don't. So down here, we're gonna reach into our little decorating box and um, oh. Looks like Maka wrote me a poem for Valentine's Day. Wow. Oh man, I mean, I knew she was out of town, but I didn't think she'd actually leave anything for me. Oh, I can't wait to read it. I wish that I'd never been born. <laughs> oh God. Everything's Valentine's Day related. I'm sick of this shit. Where is this Maka? Oh my god! You know what? Fuck Valentine's Day. This is stupid. <laughs> Sorry, um, mental breakdown aside, let's keep going through this video. Here we have um <clears throat> vanilla frosting and these two colored frostings, which are really cheap and probably crappy, but here we are. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that's pretty on brand for me. So, um, <laughs> pretty cheap and kind of crappy. <laughs> oh, that looks so delicious. Oh my God. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I got a little intense. So, uh, I'm gonna take this white icing. Uh, for some reason, I feel like I thought I was gonna have red food coloring but I don't, so, um, yeah. So I'm just, I guess we're just gonna make some white hearts, uh, which is fine, because I feel like white, red, and pink are like the colors of Valentine's Day. <laughs> I should have opened these before I started like touching the oily cookies and stuff. 
What the cr- Are you kidding me? I paid two dollars for this. Hold on, does this one open? Why? Why? Got it! Look at the bite marks. Oh my god. I'm so offended. I cannot believe. I am not having a good time. This was supposed to be fun. That was the worst experience of my life. Okay, well... <laughs> oh my god, this looks like shit. All right, well, one down, um, more to ruin, so let's get started. The cookie itself is kind of garbage, but the heart in the middle is cute, right? So, I mean, these are great cookies to make for your crush, like if you want to confess your feelings on Valentine's Day. Personally, I would not confess my feelings to my crush on Valentine's Day because um, I would not confess my feelings at all. <laughs> I would keep it a secret for the rest of my life. Now we have this over- Next heart, we are going to use um, red because it is the color of love. You know what else red is the color of? Blood and, and sadness and misery and pain. <laughs> it's just a bloody heart. Okay, bloody heart cookies done. I, tr <laughs> I tried to make it. Looked like this cookie had teeth. <laughs> and it just looked like a happy mustached heart man. <laughs> All right, so here are our Valentine's Day cookies. Didn't they just turn out beautiful? Listen, real talk, Valentine's Day is a meaningless holiday. You should be celebrating love every single day of your life and appreciating your loved ones every day. So, in all honesty, Valentine's Day doesn't really mean anything. I mean, if it means something to you, cool, good, have fun with it. But since Valentine's Day is a national holiday and is impossible to ignore, every grocery store you go into <laughs> just has Valentine's Day heart-themed stuff everywhere, um, just take this day to appreciate the love that you do have in your life and appreciate the love that you have for yourself. Like, uh, just give a round of applause for yourself today. Like, you have done so well in caring for yourself. You could probably do better. I think we all can do better in that sense. Take this Valentine's Day to love yourself. Throughout all of the hard times that you've faced in your life, who has been there for you the most? Out of anyone else, you have. You have been there for yourself. So appreciate yourself today. Happy Valentine's Day. If you don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a partner, who cares, dude? Go out and enjoy your life anyway. Love yourself, like have a good time. Okay, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that I could give you a little bit of company today if you're feeling lonely, but uh, you really shouldn't be feeling lonely because you're awesome and I love you. I am happy to be your Valentine, but I honestly don't think you need one. You are doing just fine all on your own, kid. You don't need me. But let me know what else you want me to cook next. I would gladly take on some really big projects. Um, as long as they're gluten-free, because I personally have an intolerance to gluten and it destroys my bowels. Not that you needed to know that. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, hit me up in those comments down below. Let me know what cooking with soul you want to see next. Because uh, I've got nothing. <laughs> I don't know, uh, if it were not abundantly apparent, I have no idea what I'm doing with my life, but I hope that you guys can join me on the journey to finding out. See you next time. So we are using sugar, uh, wait, hold on. I was gonna say sugar-free sugar cookies, and that's like the stupidest thing I've ever said in my entire life. Oh God, oh no, oh, for the love of, everything's fine. A pre-greased pan, grease it with whatever you want to, even your own elbow grease. <laughs> no, that was stupid. <laughs> I wasn't crying with the... Who the... Who, uh, uh. Oh, this is a mess. Everything is everywhere. This is my life. Okay, so... Roses are red. Icing is white. Am I gonna fuck this up? Yes. I guess I could just more gently, like, press it down and not be such a dumbass. <laughs> you are a strong, independent weapon, and you don't need no Meister. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I just said that.